The local butcher or meat processor isn't as common as it used to be. Refrigeration and modern technology have changed the way that we buy meats, but industry experts believe there are changes coming that could make being a small processor much bigger business. You could call it a passion, a dream, or even a goal. That's what having his own business means to Keith Schneeberger today. But the life of a butcher wasn't something he always planned to have as a career. I had no interest in processing meat at all when I was in high school. I, until I went to school at OSU and started working there at FAPSI, I just, just I, I found it, I guess, and found my calling. Even before he graduated, he began working toward owning his own butcher shop in Burns Flat, Oklahoma. From the time we started dirt work to the time we killed the first beef, it took about right at about 10 months to, to get everything set up. This is the big hanging cooler where we do all our, our aging. Only a year and a half into operation, Keith has five employees and business is good. So far it's working. Been staying busy. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's gonna be a, a, a promising future. And there are at least two movements working on the side of the small local processor. The first has to do with inspection regulations and the interstate travel of meat. If I'm a state level inspected facility, I can only sell my products within the borders of Oklahoma. Uh, a lot of processors feel that because that state level inspection is required to meet the standards of the federal inspection or exceed those standards, then that should open the doors for them to deliver their products outside of the borders. Uh, the states have been working hard on trying to create uh, small processing facilities and the opportunity for them to, to be able to sell meat across interstate borders. Even the Secretary of Agriculture is weighing in. Uh, that's the beginning of a process of, of recognizing that we need, to be, uh, we need to be concerned about food safety. At the same time, we need to be flexible relative to the size of the operation. With internet sales, online purchasing and shopping, uh, with FedEx, UPS, and other couriers that can deliver things overnight, uh, there might be a bigger impact today than there was 10, 15, 20 years ago. While producers wait for the final cut of that legislation, another movement is squeezing its way into the country's consciousness. Uh, but there is this movement for consumers to try to understand where their food comes from, how it got to them, what was involved in the process. The USDA recently announced its Know Your Farmer, Know Your Food initiative, aimed at connecting local producers with local consumers. The goal is to stimulate rural economies improve access to locally grown foods, and decrease the cost and resources used in transporting that food. Initiatives that have already been promised $65 million in funding. Helping business owners like Keith keep the coolers on, his hands busy, and jobs in Burns Flat.